Hello, it's uh, Chris Price here, General Manager of the North Yorkshire Malls Rally, talking to you on Bash Mash Live. I uh, want to discuss 50 years since the end of steam. And the big question is, is it something we should be mourning or is it something we should actually be celebrating? 50 years um, since the point at which we were able to get steam engines and actually start building some heritage railways. The modernisation plan, mourned by many, is actually something we should consider is something that gave us an opportunity to start building heritage, to start look, p picking a point at time in which we could preserve and then taking it forward. So if anybody's out there and would like to talk to me about this, then please, by all means, um, jump on board and, and chuck us some questions. We have to bear in mind that when steam engines were got rid of very quickly, they were got rid of, which presented an opportunity for heritage. We were already 18 years into a, into a movement that was delivering heritage, mainly on the narrow gauge, but this gave the standard gauge boys a chance to really get going, and uh, and that's exactly what happened. We, we're now standing in front of the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, the railway that was closed by beaching. Um, we had an opportunity here. Had it not been for the locomotive saved from Barry, we wouldn't be here standing here today. If we'd have let steam fizzle out like they have on the continent, would we have the heritage railways we have now? I actually see that the point at which the, the, the point at which steam ended on, on British Railways was the start of real, real heritage standard gauge preservation, which presented huge opportunities, which is an opportunity we're reaping the benefits of today. 2,000 people employed, plus employed in the heritage railway movement. This railway alone feeds 115 fam families. We have 1,000 volunteers who love their job, love their hobby, and work very hard on it. What we have behind is a living, breathing proof of what people can do, which was an opportunity presented when Railway Heritage started. And I would say that Standard Gauge Railway Heritage started on this day 50 years ago. Any questions? Or well, something's come through, I believe. Hello to Mark Herbert. Hello, Mark Herbert. How are you? Question, please. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, crikey, we're all coming through. How many have we got there watching us now? Fifteen. Fifteen people watching us. Well, welcome aboard. It's lovely to see you all. It's a lovely, fine day. Unfortunately, it's a bit too fine. It has been for the last couple of weeks. The North Yorkshire Moors is uh, running diesel and steam, top and tails at the moment. Um, we're running seven locomotives out today, which as some of the smaller railways would call a mixed traffic gala. We unfortunately just call it a normal day. So if you do want to see a lot of uh, a lot of the engines in one place, please come to the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Where's the cones? Where are the cones? Oh, I've got Pack controller having a choice. No, I'm being interviewed by Bashmash at the moment, Andrew. So this is Andrew Scott, XNRM. We're just, Hi. Talking, we're just talking about the uh, end of 50 years, or so the 50 years of steam ending on the on British Railways. Yeah. How I'm, I see it as more of an opportunity than something to mourn. But that <laughs> well, it seemed pretty terminal at the time. Well, it did. Well, you were there at the time. I I was, I'm too young. I was, I'm, so, I was I'm so old. I was, well, I was not there at the time. That was, I, was a I couldn't afford to go. I was a babe in arms at the time. What could I do? A student stuck in Derby. <laughs> but it has, I mean, what we've got now is good, isn't it? It's been, and would it have been as good as this? Have other railways or other countries had the same benefits of, that we've had? Yeah. Have we been able to build a, a real... Oh, we've got questions coming through. Anything else? How do you see the future of Heritage Railways? Do you think enough youngsters are coming through? I think plenty of youngsters are coming through. I'll see you later, Andrew. I think plenty of youngsters are coming through. I don't think that's actually the problem. I think the problem that, that worries me is that actually there's not enough middle-aged people coming through to volunteer. We have lots of very young people and we have lots of people that have... Uh, at the later on in life, but we, what we don't have is the 30 and 40 year olds because their time is much tighter than it was, say, 20 years ago. Um, so, yeah, it's different. It, it means that the railways will have to change and adapt, but it's not the first time they've had to change and adapt to a demograph. Uh, and I think it's just part of the uh, things we have to cope with. The biggest challenge is possibly coal. Coal is a problem coming up on us. We, we do have to be very mindful of that. There's no two ways about it. The world is, an attitude towards fossil fuel is changing, and that affects heritage always. What we've got to do is quick enough to adapt to it. Any more questions? Where are the cones? Where are the cones? I have, I have a cone here. There we go. I have a cone on the back of my mug that was very gen uh, generously given me 
by Mash Bash Mash, which I'm quite proud of, and which will be something I put my tea in from even more. So Mark like agrees with you. He's got the same problem at the WHHR. Oh, there you go. Welsh Highland Heritage Railway. Which Mark's that, then? Mark Herbert. Hello, Mark. Nice to meet you. We are friends on Facebook, I believe. Um, Richard Garvey. Morning, Chris. Has oh. given many people a passion. What do you see as the biggest opportunity for steam in the next few years? The biggest opportunity for steam? Thank you, Dickie. Much appreciated. Love the, uh, the, love the opportunity to reply to a question I have no idea how to answer. Uh, the opportunity for steam is, is, is for Tom Fromley developing what we have now, making what we've got now better, making it more reliable, making the quality better. I think um, we've got motorbikes going in, heritage motorbikes. Yeah, that's, that's. Um, I think what we, we have at the moment is very, very good and it has improved in quality dramatically over the years, but I do believe that we, we still have to improve that quality and I think that's one of the opportunities for Heritage is to develop its product and make it better. People don't like me talking about product and customers but unfortunately this is the 21st century, we have to have that attitude towards them. Thank you Nicky. I've got to keep talking now because nobody else is asking questions. That's not on is it? I was rather hoping we'd get some more. Anyway, I want to talk about why I'm here today, why I'm at Levisham today. I'm at Leverson today because the North Yorkshire Moors Railway has received an award for its digital signalling system that was installed between Leversham, Gothland and Newbridge on the railway um, in partnership with Siemens and the Railway Heritage Awards have um, just given us an award for that which is very nice of them and thank you very much. We can see the people enjoying the buffet over in the far platform which is where I should be but unfortunately I'm sat here interviewing, being interviewed by an iPad. So. But enjoying it nonetheless. Any more questions? Right, well in that case then, thank you very much folks. Um, please enjoy viewing this on downloads as you will do in the future. But from Bash Mash and Chris Weiss and the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs>